Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room and today I am going to share with you how I made a quilt for Quiltmas. Last year we started a new tradition and hopefully it will continue where we make a quilt made up of fat quarters from other YouTubers. So this year I have 11 where there are 12 of us participating so i have 11 fat quarters from other youtubers and one fat quarter from myself and i am going to make a quilt using those i don't have coordinating fabrics that is part of the challenge of creating a quiltness project i guess it doesn't have to be a quilt but i'm going to create a quilt and somebody can win that quilt. So stay tuned for the entire video because at some point I am going to give you a word that you need to know in order to sign up to win this quilt. And this is for anybody who is watching this video. You don't have to be in the US. You can be anywhere and you can win the quilt. All right, let's look at these fabrics. All of our fat quarters have been ironed or pressed. So now I need to cut them down to a workable size. And I have to decide what that size is. And here's Oliver. So I think what I'm going to do is cut them down to 12 by 14. Are we keeping you up, Ollie? Hmm. So around my fat quarters, which are not going to be fat quarters by the time I am done, I am going to put a two and a half inch strip in between my 12 by 14 inch blocks. And how am I going to do that? With my AccuQuilt that cuts two and a half inch strips. And this is the fabric. I think that it will go with any of these quarters that I have. These two are not the best of friends. I'm hoping they start getting along or Santa might not bring them presents. Mm-hmm. Y'all listening? It could happen. So here you can see I have two and a half inch by with the fabric strips. And I have this left to play with. So here I have my blocks. I'm going to cut the rest of my fat quarters into 12 by 15 inch blocks, and then I will show you what is next. This is kind of what I had in mind. So now let me add some strips just so you can see the spacing isn't quite right, but you'll get the idea. Well, I think that that red, because it's got the dark and the light, you know, it's got all these different variations. I've got the dark that's kind of the burgundy, the red that's the red. So I think it'll kind of pull it all together. Let me get that done and I'll be right back. Shocking, I didn't really think this through. So when I said that I needed a 14 inch strip, first of all, it's 15. Second of all, did I think about the fact that I'm adding two inches to each side? No. However, this gave me the opportunity to do something a little unique. I took some of the leftover fat quarters and I cut out 
two and a half inch squares. So now a little bit of the fabric will be in between these strips. So I will just place them there. So I've sewn this all together. I've put the strips in between on either side. I will join this row. So I'll put this and this and this together. And then I will sew this strip to this two and a half inch square and so on. And I'll do the same thing with all the other rows. And then we'll see what that looks like. Here is the quilt, except I want to do something else with it. This is where it gets crazy. You know what we're going to do? We're going to cut it up. Uh-huh. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to fold it in half again and I'm going to cut. <sighs> okay, you gotta move. Now let's try something. I'm gonna throw something together and I will be right back. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut it up. Uh-huh. My quilt is complete. I'm gonna throw something together and I will be right back. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut it up. Uh-huh. If you would like to win this quilt, my secret word is thread. You will be able to find the entry in the description below after all of our videos have come out. And this is my backing. I wasn't happy with that version of the quilt, so I cut it some more. And I added these strips through several cuts and I like it a little better. I'm going to do a little more surgery. I have all these strips going up and down. I need some going across. I can't remember if I heard it or I read it, but I read or heard that if you aren't really happy with the way your quilt turned out, cut it into smaller pieces. Scalpel, please. Okay, I think I finally have a quilt that I like. I was given 12 pieces of fabric, 13 pieces of fabric, and I mixed them all together. And this is what I got. There you have it. My Quiltmas quilt. If you are interested in winning this quilt, the sign up will be a link in the description below. Please make sure that you check out tomorrow's Quiltmas video from Scrap Fabric Love. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. And happy holidays. Bye.